The cell phone is part of our culture. Who's calling? Zach Morris. And now? We are calling it iPhone. Part of our history, literally. The Natural History Museum has dinosaur bones and rare jewels and ancient artifacts. And now the cell phone? How does that fit? Right. So the mission of natural history is to understand nature and our place in it. Thinking about the 21st century and the human experience in this present moment, the cell phone presents a fantastic opportunity to think about that. Dr. Joshua Bells, the curator of this first-of-its-kind exhibit at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History, open to all ages but aimed at a younger audience that might not recognize this. 750 items from more than 30 countries, from the first ever mobile model, it weighs two pounds, to classics like the Razor and this old Nokia. It really is my first cell phone. And then the Blackberry. Wait, that is literally your first cell phone? It is, it is. Yes, there are elements of nostalgia, but also elements, like from the periodic table. 65 of them that make up the average smartphone represented here in dozens of minerals. You have elements here from Madagascar, from Alaska. It goes back to this tagline that when you hold the cell phone, you hold the world in your hand, right? Both literally and figuratively. It's a showcase for cellular science and the people behind it all. The hope? It's an inspiration for the next generation. Everyone is part of the story of the cell phone. And an education, helping us all feel a little more connected. He gave me a C minus. <laughs> and a little less clueless. Allie Jackson, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.